All right, hey everyone, it's Wally Dallenbach, and this video is just going to be about general care. And if you decide one day you want to take your drum set apart, your Ludwig Vista lights or Fibes or whatever you're doing, you want to restore it, um, and you don't want to go through the whole rigmarole of using buffing compound or you're afraid to, there's a very simple and easy way that you can polish your drums using an orbital sander and using some polish. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm not going to push this product on you, you don't have to use this, but this is from RCI and this is their cleaner um, for acrylic drums. It's specifically made for acry acrylic drums and um, so if you want to restore your kit, you don't want to go through the uh, rubbing compound and waxing as I showed you in previous videos, um, this is the way to do it. It's very simple. You'll get yourself a 5 inch orbital sander, Take, uh, get on RCI's website, buy yourself a can of this. Gosh, this should do a whole drum set, you know, like uh, four toms and a couple floor toms and a bass drum. Uh, this goes a long way. Uh, spray a little bit on your, on your applicator. Make sure your applicator is nice and clean. And what I sprayed right there should be able to do the whole darn drum. <clears throat> and then just basically um, the cleaner, the RCI cleaner is um, the medium now. It's not a rubbing compound, and uh, even if you have cracks in your drums uh, or that are repaired, um, you know this. This gosh, look at a mirror shine. Okay. careful when you get around your badges, hold your finger over the badges, because you, you get kind of a sense of where you're at, on your, you don't want to run your bonnet over your badge, because you don't want to snag it, you just be careful. <clears throat> All that, that amount of wax, or um, cleaner, RCI cleaner that I sprayed, is absorbed into the bonnet now, and that, that will do this whole drum. You don't really need to... spray any more on it. It's there, you can you can kind of feel it's a it's a little bit uh, the bonnet's a little damp. Now there's only there's only so much, you know, um, the typical Joe Schmo do it yourself or um, you might be able to see this right here. This is some to me it looks like maybe lug rash where the lugs kind of plowed up into the shell. Um, you know, you if you watch other videos of mine, I'm going to tell you this okay. This is okay, and you know why? Uh, these are classic Ludwig's from 1970s, 77-ish, maybe. Who knows? I've not dated the badge yet. I've, you can you can date the badge. Go to uh, ludwigdrums.com and type in serial numbers or date serial numbers, and they'll have a whole list of uh, how to date your badge. Okay. So to me, this is okay, and I'll give you this example. If uh, you were in a guitar shop, um, you know, for rock stars, and they have a 1958 Les Paul that's a little bit scratched up, you know what? That's still that's still going to fetch big dollars. Nobody's going to care about that big scratch or scratches or whatever's you know on it, as long as it's not broken. <laughs> you know, uh, the neck didn't break off. Okay, so there we go. I've, I've been around the outside. I'm going to go around the bearing edges just a couple times. Um, now, we're just, this is, like I said, this is in the, the event that you're just restoring your kit. You bought a new drum set or you bought a used drum set on eBay or Craigslist or from a buddy. Uh, this is, and you just want to restore it. This is how you do it. You know, it's very simple. This buffer costs maybe $25 at your local home improvement store. And, um, you know, for that kind of a, and a can of wax, a uh, can of cleaner and polish uh, off of RCI's website, my gosh, uh, you can't go wrong. Now, I did make another video. It's a, I think I called it Ludwig Chrome Care and Restoration. Check that video out. That'll show you how to care and clean for your chrome and your lugs. It's got some useful tips and tricks in it. 
and um, uh, I, like I said in previous videos, I'm giving you the information and the tools that you need to, uh, to be a good drum restorer and um, to be kind of a do-it-yourselfer. You know, even if even if you buy, even if you're a flipper, you know, and uh, sometimes flippers, of course, they just buy stuff and pick out what they want and keep it and sell the rest. Um, that's cool. You do what you want. But um, if you want to fetch a little bit more cash, uh, this will give you the information how to clean up clean up some um, hardware and, or drum hardware at least on uh, lugs and rims and tension rods. And uh, so that's about it. Gosh, look how beautiful that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? This, this shell is a far cry from where it was when I first got it. Uh, it looks to me like somebody, uh, the, when the lugs were on it, they took like a green scratch bite pad and tried to clean the lugs and they put micro scratches parallel to the, um, to the lugs. And those are all gone now. I buffed those out and um, I, I think I have under an hour, under an hour, um, basically wet sanding the bearing edges, wet sanding the crack, going through the steps of buffing the shell with rubbing compound. But of course this is just a demonstration if you want to do a quick um, rehab, a restoration project where you just buy a set, you take all the hardware off, clean your hardware, clean your shells, um, and you know you could do this maybe once a year, once every couple years to your set. And um, it's a good way to maintain your, your kit. Um, once again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to advise you to not really worry too much or obsess too much um, about little dings and uh, scratches. Man, that's just, that's just um, to me, if you want something that's just free of scratches, just don't waste your time. Go out and buy a new set. Okay, if you want that pristine of a drum set um, and you're in the market, you're wasting your time buying used if you think you're going to sand all this out and just have a beautiful drum like new. You're wasting your time, you're wasting your money. Just go out and buy a new set. Okay, so with that, everybody take care. Peace. Thanks for watching. Um, practice, play your drums hard, write them hard, put them away wet. Okay, uh, until next time, live in Ludwig with the Vista Lights here, acrylic drums. And uh, everybody take care. Peace.